All right, we're going to edit the Welcome to My City article and add the text and an image that we need. Later on, we'll be adding a Google Map and some other information to it. But for now, let's go ahead and do this. From the link below, grab the text, the copy it, come back over to your Welcome to My City article, and click Paste as Plain Text. Now what this does is it does insert the text the way you want it and if we look at the show hide because of the way we set up JCE it does automatically insert the p tags for us. Boy is that very helpful or what. Alright so we've got our text. When we're working with text and images I almost always say get your text in first then put your images in and manipulate those later. So let's go ahead and grab the image called City Hall. Now to do that we need to upload it, of course, right? So let's go ahead now and insert our image called City Hall. Click on the Image button. Let's go upload it. So go to the place where you've downloaded these files and upload cityhall.jpg. Click on the file. And again, always, always fix. This is Rodville City Hall fix your alt text. The dimensions are pretty big here and actually we would want to either one resize that with the other upload button or resize it before we upload it because an 1100 pixel image is way too big. It's 96k. When you see pictures loading slowly on a website this is why. So before you actually put this in a production site you would get the image to where it should be before you insert it. So we're going to insert it and see what happens. Of course it's massively huge and ridiculously big. Two options again. Resize before you upload. Because this is local host and we're not too worried about speed, we can just grab it and resize it to whatever size we want. Now I'm going to click on that again because we haven't set up any of the parameters. Let's change this to 300. It'll automatically resize it proportionally and I'm going to align it to the right and I'm going to give it 10 pixels around. I don't want a border on this. Now I click update and you'll see that my city hall image is nicely embedded in my text. It's still a little big so I can click on it and I can make that 250 pixels. Click update. Ah, that's a little bit better. I like that a lot. Now you'll notice here we've got for driving directions, please see the directions listed below. There's a file in the download called Google Maps. Now, we could insert this here, but there's a problem. It includes some JavaScript. Anytime you come in to an article with JavaScript in it, using your WYSIWYG editor at this point, you will strip out the script. So that's a major problem. Two ways to look at this. One, you can turn your editor off, go back over and grab the script, copy and paste it into your article and now if I hit save come back over to my front page I have a Google map in my article but what happens when I go and re-edit this well that's all good and well because I had my editor turned off but nine times out of ten you're not going to remember to do that if I now have my editor in here and click save sometimes the code disappears like then now we're getting a little bit of ahead of ourselves but let me show you the best way to do this go over to module manager click new click custom HTML and I'm gonna give it a title which we're not going to show now this is the key thing. We're going to define a new position that isn't called by our template. And we're going to call that position into our article, which I'll show you in just a moment. It's important that this name not be called anywhere in your template. So we're going to call, going to call this Google Map. We know that that's not included anywhere. And I can just type that in, and now that's automatically added to my Joomla workflow. I'm going to turn off the Show Hide button and I'm going to insert that 
code for my Joomla map. I'm going to leave it set to all menus and I'm going to click Save. Go back over to my article, click on Welcome to My City, and now I'm going to, in the WYSIWYG editor, do curly bracket, which is shift square bracket up on the right hand side of your keyboard, the word load position, space, and then the position name, Google Map, right curly bracket. Now it doesn't matter if I come into this with my editor turned on or off, when I hit save and reload, my map is there. This is a really important feature of Joomla where I can load a module into an article using the load position and it doesn't strip out the code. So, fantastic lesson. We're going to use this a lot as we go through. So that's the end of task number one.